Hey folks, welcome back to the Greg Ruchak Show. Back here at the Granny Suite renovation, where we are uh, at the drywall stage. We did some soundproofing. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what we've completed. Uh, the boarding is up and there'll be a little bit of time-lapse uh, photography as well that uh, shows you the process of, that we took. Uh, from from uh, insulating to the furring strip to uh, you know, soundproofing the drywall as we installed it. I'll just turn the camera on. Okay, we got the insulation in the ceiling. We have enough insulation to do the, the walls too, actually, like uh, the bedroom walls. Okay, the window came in, the egress window. It's a 24 by 36, so I removed the old window, put in the new egress window. So that's ready to go, and we've insulated the ceiling here as well. I'm gonna fur it down and drywall this room. Okay, so now you can see that we've installed our resilient channel, 16 inches on center. As you can see, it has a, it moves a little bit. That's how it's designed. So now we're ready to, uh, to do some drywall. And I'm gonna show you this, uh, this system. So the next thing that we do is we put a bead of caulking on the resilient channel. And then we put a layer of drywall. Okay. The furring uh, resilient channel is in. That's what the beauty caulking looks like. It can be a little messy. All right, see if we got some drips on the floor, but. Uh, that's the acoustical caulking, and then the next sheet we sandwich the caulking in between. Okay, here we are. This is uh, acoustical caulking has been applied to the back of the sheet. You can see that the first layer has been installed across the ceiling. So now the second layer, and this is where you sandwich some acoustical caulking in between the layers. This helps dampen the sound you don't need to put a lot, you're just creating some, a little bit of a separation. Okay, here we are. As we can see, the, uh, the drywall is up in the bathroom. We did some den shield, some uh, green board, moisture resistant. It's ready for plastering. This is the kitchen area. Boxed in the bulkhead. You can see some of the acoustic sealant because what we did is we did uh, two layers of drywall on the ceiling, which gives it roughly about a one hour fire rating when you add up the, uh, the two layers and the sound attenuation fireproof uh, insulation that's in the cavity. You know, when you measure, you, you count the whole space, not just the drywall. So it's about an hour fire rating, but it's, we were looking for soundproofing. Spin around. This is the living area. All the drywall is up. Go now into the bedroom area. Bit of a change from the framing because you can now really have a feel for the space. Double closet system we're putting in. Repurposed French door. This will be the eating area. Coming here, this is what they, go, they call the gym area. They're gonna have like a gym in this side. There'll be a closet. There'll be some uh, mirror glass doors going on there eventually. This is the, uh, the, the laundry for the apartment. And then I'll quickly take you upstairs and I'll show you where we also did a laundry on the main floor.
Okay, that was that's the laundry. It's gonna be a stackable washer dryer going in there because now that the granny suite's gonna use the basement laundry facility, we created a new laundry facility on the on the main floor. So that's the area you see there. We framed it in. We'll have some bifold doors on there and some shelving beside the stackable unit. So that's our show today, folks. Uh, stay tuned for part four, where hopefully we'll have all the plastering done. Maybe the floor will be in. As always, you have a, a great day and you keep crushing it.